While Sonar Cube is available in both a free community edition as well as several flavors of commercial editions, this video will focus on the capabilities present in our commercial editions, and in particular, we'll focus on the Enterprise Edition. The default landing screen in the Sonar Cube instance will feature a list of projects. Generally speaking, these projects will correspond to one source control repository and will be analyzed by that repository's corresponding CI pipeline. While all editions of Sonar Cube feature the ability to create projects that integrate with DevOps uh, platforms, commercial versions of Sonar Cube contain the ability to integrate with any number of any combination of the DevOps platforms. And since Sonar Cube 10.3, specific to GitHub, we also include the ability to automatically provision the projects uh, and synchronize permissions from your GitHub repository. So the same users uh, within your GitHub repository can do the same kinds of things in SonarCube. Clicking on a project from the outer list will take you into that project's dashboard, where you'll prominently see displayed the current quality gate status uh, for the project, as well as key metrics that will be displayed for both new code within the project as well as overall code. While the overall code will represent uh, any issues that were found uh, across code, uh, no matter when it was added to the project, going all the way back to inception, the new code will focus on uh, what we call a, a new code period. Um, in this case, you can see the example is simply the last 30 days. The idea of what code is considered new can be controlled in the project settings where you can see settings including the previous version, uh, so any change uh, that is made since the last released version of the project uh, would be considered new, a uh, number of days, uh, or even using a reference branch uh, so that another branch of the project can be used as a reference point and new code would be anything since the point where those branches diverged. And also note that all of this corresponds to the main or default branch of the project. Commercial versions of Sonar Cube will automatically provision your project when it's created to also be able to scan branches as defined in your uh, project's code repository, including pull requests. In this particular case, this project lives on GitHub uh, and a pull request branch also exists on this project. If we click to see its dashboard, what we'll see is a specialized view that focuses developer attention on the results pertaining to only the code that was newly introduced on that pull request branch as opposed to uh, the branch that it is targeting. So we can see in this particular case uh, that the quality gate has failed because there is one outstanding issue on this branch that requires fixing. We can always click on this from within the dashboard uh, to go explore this. We can also utilize a special link, uh, thanks to our integration with GitHub, to follow this into uh, the code repository platform. And what we'll see here is directly decorated on the pull request in this particular case in GitHub, uh, a decoration letting us know that the quality gate failed here also due to that same issue. The conditions that determine whether a quality gate passes or failed can be examined by going into the quality gates menu, where you can take a look at the quality gates that you have defined in your instance. We always get you started with a built-in quality gate called Sonar Way that is also set as the default uh, unless you override it. And this quality gate will focus on a few conditions uh, within new code in particular. Uh, the reason for the focus on new code is in compliance with our methodology called Clean As You Code, which we believe is the fastest way for developers without expending extra special allocated effort to manage technical debt to achieve uh, cleanliness uh, in their code. Your new code will be clean uh, if the code has no issues, if all of the security hotspots uh, that are present within the code have been reviewed, if the code has sufficient amounts of code coverage, and if there's a limited amount of duplication within the code. And of course, custom conditions can be added to the quality gates to meet your individual coding standards as well. A developer can drill into a particular issue in order to examine it, even in the context of the code in which it was found. In this particular case, we see that the issue was a security vulnerability. Commercial versions of Sonar Cube include special rules that are not available in our free edition uh, that on top of the base rules available with a language include advanced analysis techniques such as uh, taint analysis uh, and a, a special technique that we pioneered called deeper SAST 
which will follow the flow of execution through your own code into your third-party library code and back into your own code if necessary in order to find vulnerabilities that only manifest if particular code paths are followed. We also utilize the same technique to find advanced bugs uh, using a technique that we call data flow bug detection. SonarCube also integrates with our IDE solution, SonarLint, to allow you to further explore issues by opening them directly within the developer's IDE. Simply clicking the Open an IDE button and switching back to uh, the window uh, of your Open IDE as a developer will allow you to explore the issue in greater detail, including the flow of potentially tainted data through the logic of the code. And we also in embed our documentation uh, here as well so that a developer can explore why this particular problem might be an issue, how they can fix it, uh, even including documentation specific to the framework that they may be utilizing. While Sonar Lint is available for free uh, as an installable add-on within the marketplace for each IDE, Sonar Lint really comes to life when combined with your Sonar Cube commercial subscription, thanks to what we call connected mode. And in connected mode, what you can do is connect uh, Sonar Lint with your Sonar Cube subscription and create a binding to the projects uh, that you plan to open as a developer within the IDE. And the advantage of this is that you're able to synchronize the quality profiles uh, and other settings that you've established for the team within SonarCube with those in the IDE. So for example, if your project has been configured to utilize a custom quality profile for a language like JavaScript, and if that quality profile defines a custom rule enforcing a naming convention, for example, then in the IDE, if a developer utilizing connected mode attempts to write some new code that violates the naming convention, we will see a finding in the IDE that will enforce that naming convention right as the developer is attempting to write the code. Connected mode will also enable developers who are interacting with files in the IDE to have awareness that the file that they're interacting with contains a vulnerability that was known to SonarCube from a previous analysis. The concept of applications allows developers to combine and get a unified dashboard out of the results of more than one individual project repository analysis. So multiple individual projects that are known to SonarCube that each would individually have their own quality gate result uh, and metrics can be seen with a combined dashboard and a single synthesized quality gate result. The Enterprise Edition of SonarCube includes extra reporting capabilities that are not present in our lower editions. This includes a project PDF report that can be downloaded dynamically or subscribed to for regular delivery, a regulatory report that will allow you to prepare and download for a particular branch of a project that you've analyzed, an overview of all of the findings, uh, as well as uh, exportable lists of all of those findings for both new and overall code. Security reports available at the project level will allow you to see issues, uh, particularly that fall in the security domain, categorized according to compliance standards such as PCI DSS or OWASP ASVS, or the OWASP top 10 or top 25 CWEs from the last several years. The portfolio feature of SonarCube Enterprise Edition will allow you to define your own custom structure for reporting purposes of projects and even other nested portfolios that will allow you to arrive at a summary view of how you're doing across a suite of related projects. So engineering leaders can see a summary of releasability uh, that is taking a look at how the quality gates across a set of related projects are doing uh, and other metrics uh, that are summarized from the individual project level. In each of these cases, you'll be able to see these metrics summarized uh, with trending over time. You'll also have an additional dimension of reporting available here. Uh, for example, the same security reports that were available at the project level will repeat here as well and include categorized reporting of issues across all of the projects within the portfolio. And of course, these portfolio reports are exportable so that you can download them on the fly or subscribe to have them regularly delivered to your inbox.
If you're interested in trying out the Enterprise Edition of Sonar Cube or another commercial edition, head on over to our plans and pricing page where you can fill out a form to start a free trial. You can also reference uh, if you're upgrading from another edition of Sonar Cube, uh, another video on our channel that will let you know how you can accomplish your edition upgrade.